Hey guys, you back here and welcome back to another video. Now due to the relative success of my previous video, I'm going to be doing another one of these YouTube documentaries. But this is going to be on a channel far greater than anything Looney Mooney would have even hoped to achieve. This channel has had multiple viral videos. This channel has had more subscribers than Looney Mooney would have ever dreamed of. This channel is Danerated. The Danerade channel was created September 5th of 2016, and it instantly became a home to consistent uploads mostly having to do with plush and gaming videos. Even from the very beginning of his channel, Danerade proved to take an interesting strategy on how he wanted to conquer YouTube. Instead of uploading a random content video or even a new intro as many chose, he went a path that not many choose. He decided to make his channel trailer the first video on his channel. Just a day after his channel's creation, on September 6th, 2016, he uploaded a 3 minute long channel trailer, only by the title of Welcome. And instead of going Looney and Mooney's route and outsourcing this to different platforms, he did it all right on YouTube, and relied on strangers and his friends to drive traffic to his channel. First, it seemed as if his channel trailer had worked. It seemed that he had finally driven traffic to his site after just the first upload. But soon, the channel trailer hype started to wear off. But regardless, he pressed on, and it started to pay off. The fact that he kept this consistency up despite the view drought proved to be the best decision he could possibly make. What Danerate had unknowingly done is he had created a new niche on YouTube. And niches are a very useful thing to find. Anthony Fantano did it with music reviews, and PewDiePie did it with horror games. But the most important aspect of niches is that if you're the first there, you usually get the most traction. And Danaraid did exactly that. Sure, there are plenty of plush channels out there. I mean, Super Mario Logan had been doing this stuff for years, and he had gained a cult following. But there were never any gaming-related plush channels. And even if there were, there were no gaming-related plush channels with gaming and plush on the same channel. What Danerade had basically done is he had created a subcategory in YouTube. And when you do that, you can always be the first innovator. By doing this, not only did he beat any possible competition to the genre, but his unrivaled consistency in the medium made him one of the most popular in it and gave him a head start so far ahead that no one could oppose him. Although he had an advantage over his competition so vast that no one could really do anything about it, he forgot one thing, the likes. Although he's gaining an impressive number of views for every one of his videos, he had forgotten the likes. Now likes aren't that instrumental to a channel with under 100 subscribers, but Danerade was approaching that mark fast, and soon the YouTube algorithm would start looking for videos to recommend. But the low like percentages would deter the algorithm from pushing out any of Danerade's uploads with lower than 75% of the like percentage. You may recall that earlier in the video, I said that Danerade uploading, despite the view drought early on in his channel, proved to be the best decision he could possibly make. But I don't even think Danerade himself knows how vital that decision was. By continuing to upload through a drought that would normally deter most creators from making videos for a couple of months, Danerade had far surpassed the video count of others in his subscriber range, making him a prime target for YouTube recommendations. On July 30th, 2017, that target was finally hit. One of his videos had gone viral because of the YouTube algorithm recommending it to hundreds of thousands of people. This video would single-handedly lift his channel from something that would have otherwise faded into mediocrity into something that had potential, and it launched him into a modern age. This new era of his channel saw him pumping out more consistent content and getting more views because of it. 
and also, he got a better like percentage as a result of the viral video, getting also a high like percentage, and his channel has remained in this day ever since. So far, he has all the groundwork of a very successful YouTube channel, a set recording schedule, set thumbnails, occasional live streams, and fan engagement. Everything that shows the makings of a future, very successful YouTube channel. That's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you like this series, and if you think I should upload more varieties of content, just leave it down in the comments below. I saw the comments on the last video, and I'm just happy for all the positive feedback. So, uh, yink.